the virtual whiteboard. T V W. Hello and welcome to the virtual whiteboard. So, in this series, I've been teaching about uh, trigonometric identities and trigonometric problems based on trigonometric identities. So, here is another question. It is sin theta minus cos theta divided by sin theta plus cos theta plus sin theta plus cos theta divided by sin theta minus cos theta is equal to 2 divided by 2 sin squared theta minus 1. Now, when this question is posed to a 10th standard student right in the exam and he sees this big expression, we usually get tensed, right? The person might get tensed. So now, the first thing to see is what you can do. What I want to do is I want a common denominator. That's what I want first. So what I'm going to do is take the left hand side. Okay. And what I want is a common denominator. I want a common denominator. So what do I have to do if I need a common denominator for both these terms? I need to cross multiply, right? Take the LCM or whatever. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to multiply this expression with this and this expression with this. And in the denominator, you will be multiplying this with this. So first, let us see what's the common denominator. The common denominator is going to be sin theta plus cos theta into sin theta minus cos theta and in the numerator, this multiplied with this. So sin theta minus cos theta, the whole square plus sin theta plus cos theta, the whole square. Okay, so in uh, the numerator, I see that I have to use a minus b the whole square formula a plus b the whole square formula and in the denominator I have a plus b into a minus b which is nothing but a square minus b square. Right? Okay, let us use it here. So sine square theta minus cos square theta is nothing but a square which is sine square theta minus 2 sine theta cos theta 2ab plus b square plus cos square theta plus what is this? A plus B the whole square, which is sine square theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta plus cos square theta. Right? The whole thing divided by, and in the bottom, it is A square minus B square. A plus B into A minus B is nothing but A square minus B square, which is sine square theta minus cos square theta. Right? So let us first try to simplify the numerator, terms in the numerator. So sine square theta and sine square theta, that is 2 sine square theta. So I'm going to write this as 2 sine square theta minus 2 sine theta cos theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta. These two terms get cancelled. Cos square theta plus cos square theta is plus 2 cos square theta divided by sine square theta minus cos square theta. We know that cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta, right? So we can write this as sin square theta minus 1 minus sin square theta. Now, why am I changing the cos into sin? Why am I manipulating this term? Why I am changing this is because here in, in the right hand side of the question, we only have sin term, we don't have cos. So I'm going to change cos to sin. Once I do that, I'm erasing the question. Now, here in the numerator, right, I can take two common outside. Now, this is going to be sine squared theta plus cos squared theta divided by what is sin square theta minus if you remove the brackets like I told you I am going to remove the brackets right here so if I remove the bracket the positive becomes a negative and this negative becomes a positive 
and I remove the bracket, right? So now I have sine squared theta plus sine squared theta minus 1, which is 2 sine squared theta minus 1. What is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta? It's nothing but 1. So 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 sine squared theta minus 1, which is equal to RHS. Thus, proved. I hope you all understood this problem. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. If you like this problem, please like, comment and share it with your friends. Thank you.